How's it going everyone? My name is Where Don't Care My Name Is and with 2019 coming to an end, I decided, you know what, I wanted to look ahead into 2020 and see the films we're going to get this year. And for the most part, a lot of them I'm looking forward to. There are some that are just going to be bad, at least that's what I'm thinking, and then there are some that I'm not really going to judge, but I'm going to wait to see the films because I think they're going to be good or just going to be meh. But while I was doing that, uh, I actually saw a lot of the films that are coming out this year are sequels to very old films that we haven't seen in a long time and are even remakes of old films so um i wanted to give my top five films that i'm looking forward to that are going to be sequels of old school films and seeing if they're still going to be good or not so let's let's get started with number five shall we number five is coming to america which is the sequel to Coming to America from 1988 and is going to star Eddie Murphy reprising his role as Prince Akeem Jofer. I'm looking forward to this. I think this is going to be a very interesting uh, film. I think this will be, it'll be fun to see Eddie Murphy reprising his old role again. <laughs> and it's been a long time since we've seen Eddie Murphy on the big screen. I think the last time was when he did that, uh, Dol Dolemite is my name. Uh, okay, but... As far as reprising an old role, I think it has been a long time since he actually done this. So, it's very interesting to see how he's going to do. See if he still got it. I think he still does. But, who knows? We'll see. Uh, Alright, so with that being said, let's go on with number four. Number four is Ghostbusters Afterlife, which is the sequel to the 1984 and 1989 film. So, this is the third Ghostbusters film. And, it's sad that the... That the uh, the remake that they did not too long ago, uh, it bombed and it wasn't good. It's such a shame because I really thought that it was going to be an okay film. But sure enough, it wasn't. It's such a shame. But I'm looking forward to seeing this film. Uh, especially when when you see the trailer and you know just, you just get excited seeing just the nostalgic we're going to get from this film. So I'm looking forward to this. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I hope people will like this, and I hope this will not bomb like the other film did. So, uh, well, fingers crossed. I hope it does well, and hopefully a lot of people will like it too. So, next one is The Witches, which is the remake for the 1990 film, uh, and was based off a novel as well. And this one I actually love. I love this film. I didn't get to see it until years later on television, and it was such a fun film. I, I had a great time watching this. And uh, I did get scared of, you know, the actresses who uh, played the witches as well. I did get a little scared. As a kid, I got a little frightened by it. But it wasn't bad. I actually like it. I'm looking forward to this film. Uh, I'm also looking forward to seeing uh, Anne Hathaway playing as the Grand High Witch. I'm like, oh my god, that's going to be very interesting to see her play that role. I'm just hoping that they go with the makeup. Do not make it CGI. Do not make it look so fake as hell. Because the original did well, it it's fine, the makeup still holds up even years later, so please do not go down such a silly route. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it, I think it's going to be a fun film. Alright, so uh, next one is going to be Top Gun Maverick. Yeah, Maverick, Maverick. And this one is the sequel to the 1986 film. So yeah, 80s, all getting their chance on the on the big screen. So yeah, uh, this one is the sequel to the Top Gun film. And this one's going to once again star uh, Tom Cruise reprising his role as Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell. And what I love about this is I actually saw this uh, as one of the previews we were going to get for uh, before I saw the movie... Uh, Star Wars was the fact that they were using actual jets. They're going to have the actors inside of them, and they actually were flying around the jets, and they had the cameras inside and outside as well, just seeing how it's all done. I was like, oh my god, this looks amazing. This looks awesome. I think it's going to be a great sequel. Uh, they're bringing back a lot of the old uh, actors as well for this role. I'm very much looking forward to it. I, am, I do like the cast that they're bringing in for the new film, so I think this will be very interesting to see how this, how this all goes. And seeing if it still can catch the same magic as well. And hopefully they bring back uh, uh, Danger Zones. I hope they bring that back. I hope they do. If not, I will freaking play that song while I'm watching it. So, alright. And the number one film that I'm looking forward to, the sequel for it, is going to be Bill and Ted Face the Music. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I probably did that wrong. I'm so I'm so sorry. I will, I will leave as soon as I'm done with this. But yeah, this is the sequel to the Bill and Ted Excellent Adventure and Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Uh, 
Both films came out in 1989, 1991. So, wow, years later, and they're bringing back Keanu Reeves, Alex Winter, bringing back the the characters, and bringing back William Sattler as the Grim Reaper. I'm like, oh my god, yes, awesome. I'm looking forward to this film, and I'm glad that you know they're doing this. And you know, while the actress is still around, and Keanu Reeves, that man will outlive us all. But I'm looking forward to this. It'll be very interesting to see Keanu Reeves reprising his old role again, see if he can still pull it off. I think he will. He's done such a great job with the John Wick film, so. I'm sure he'll pull this off. It will be a fun film. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be so cool. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much just my opinion. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Do you think these films are going to do well? Do you think they're going to live up to the hype of the original sequels? Uh, do you think other films like Candyman? Do you think other films like uh, Godzilla King of uh, versus Kong? Do you think that's going to do well too? you think any of these films that are coming out are going to do well? Leave some comments below, let me know what you think, and even let me know which films you're looking forward to, and which ones you think are going to be a success, and which ones you think are going to suck. So, that's it guys. Leave some comments below, let me know what you think, hit the subscribe button, check out my Facebook page, check out my Twitter page. Also, uh, I want to say thank you guys so much for such an amazing year. Thank you, I appreciate all the support, and I'm looking forward to 2020. So take care guys, see you next time to give you more love and more entertainment, especially for my first video, which will be... Probably for The Grudge. <laughs> hopefully that one does well. And hopefully it doesn't suck. Take care, guys. See y'all next time. Give you more love and more entertainment. Happy New Year's. And I love you all. Bye. Darkness bright.